Hi, this is Denver Riddle here. I've prepared this quick demo video to demonstrate the new LUT utility plugin that allows Final Cut 10 and Motion 5 users to apply 3D LUTs or lookup tables to their footage. Let's first start off with what a LUT is. In the simplest of terms, a LUT is a mathematical recipe that takes the incoming input values and remaps the values to create a new output or new image. In other words, we can apply specific color corrections to address flat looking log images and apply LUTs creatively to precisely emulate different film stocks and emulsions. So let's get started. Here in Final Cut 10, I have a clip that was captured on the Arri Alexa camera. To address the log exposure, we'll apply a LUT. We'll find the LUT utility in the effects browser, then to apply it, we'll drag and drop it onto our clip. From the drop down menu, we'll choose the Alexa Log C to Rec 709 LUT. And bada bing bada bang, we have a great starting point from which to work from. From the color board, we can increase the exposure in the midtones and warm up the clip in the highlights. If you'll be shooting on the Blackmagic camera in film mode, like in our next example, we can apply the Blackmagic film to Rec 709 LUT. And voila, we have an incredible image with nice contrast and color. For CineStyle users using Canon HDSLRs, it's now finally possible to apply the CineStyle S-curve LUT. And if we want to even, we can apply additional grading presets. We can do this by stacking. I've gone with my Cinelic plugin here, and I'll just make some adjustments to the color treatment. And warm it up a bit. Ah, and that looks nice. Here's the before and after. Now let's take a look at using LUTs creatively. We'll see how we can emulate different film stocks and emulsions, including 3-strip and 2-strip Technicolor processes. Our next example was shot on the red camera. And because it's being decoded as red log film, let me just show you that. We'll want to apply a film print LUT that was intended for log images. Here in our drop down, we have a couple Fuji and Kodak film print LUTs. We'll choose the Kodak intended for log, and boom, just like magic. Now, I want to highlight the fact that if you feel a LUT is too strong, we can simply dial it back to taste with the mix control. There, that's more reasonable. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I want to point out that all of these LUTs that you see here come as a packaged bonus with the LUT utility. But let's say, for instance, you want to add one of your own LUTs. You'll see that there is an option for external file, but you see that it doesn't work. Unfortunately, this type of functionality isn't supported in Final Cut. So why do we have it then? Well, because in Motion, we can load external LUTs. But no need to fear, we can load LUTs into Final Cut, we just have to go about it a different way. If we go down to System Preferences, and then to LUT Utility in the Other section, we have a place where we can load and manage our LUTs. We already see the free bonus LUTs that come packaged with the plugin. To add LUTs, all we need to do is either click the plus sign, or drag and drop them from the finder. In this case, I'll install the Osiris collection. And if you happen to purchase the LUT Utility Osiris bundle, then they'll already be installed. Coming back over to Final Cut, when we apply the LUT Utility, the Osiris collection now shows up. Because this clip is already in Rec. 709 color space, we'll apply the LUTs intended for Rec. 709. Delta gives an authentic black and white look, and M31 is one of my favorite. Wow! And if that wasn't enough, let me show you what previously was an impossible task to accomplish. Say you wanted to import a color grade from either DaVinci Resolve or Speed Grade. You couldn't do this previously, but now you can. Let me show you how. Going to DaVinci Resolve, I have a commercial spot where I've completed a grade on one of the clips. Here's the before and after. I now want to then apply the same color grade to the same clip in Final Cut. So to do that in Resolve, we'll right click on the clip, choose Generate 3D LUT, 
give it a name, and then save it. We'll now take that same LUT and bring it in using the LUT manager. And now in Final Cut, we can apply the very same grade. Identical. Man oh man, I just want to throw a party, just like this guy does. He definitely knows how to party. So thanks for watching. You're welcome to try this out by downloading the trial version, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.